In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to ship products from Amazon USA to Amazon UAE. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group. Let's dive in. Okay, so you're gonna log into your Amazon Seller Central account. You're gonna first go to that Sell Globally tab. If you don't see this tab, you need to upgrade to a professional seller account. And then you're going to go to Middle East and then make sure that you register for UAE. When you register for the UAE, they're only gonna ask you for a few documents such as your passport, recent bank account, and or credit card statement, an internationally chargeable credit or debit card, and you're gonna need to have a mobile phone. After those four things are done, you'll submit it to Amazon and you should be approved. If you're not approved, feel free to reach out but let's continue to the next steps. So once you're approved, it's gonna look like this when you go back to that international globally seller button and it's gonna say account setup, it's gonna have a green check and then your next step is to create new listings. So make sure that you create your listings from the USA to Amazon UAE. You can just do create new listing and then just make sure it has the same ASIN. It'll create just fine 99% of the time the category and some of the sections might be different, but just make sure the ASIN is the same and everything will be good. Again, to add a product, just go to your drop down, go to UAE, United Arab Emirates, and then you're going to simply go to catalog, add products, make sure it has the same ASIN as your US listings, and then you should be good. After 24 hours, it should show, convert it to Amazon FBA, and then I'm gonna be showing you the next steps. Before we actually ship items to Amazon, it says to comply with your European VAT obligations. So you may need a VAT and I highly recommend it. You can get a VAT as an individual. You do not have to be a business, but just cl click this button right here and then Amazon's gonna help you walk through to get that VAT. They do want you to sell internationally, so it's in their best interest to help you get that. Next, once you have your listings ready, you've got your VAT, you're going to go and click send and replenish inventory. Make sure you're in the UAE, and this is where you start shipping your inventory from the US to the UAE. I recommend your first time to do a smaller amount, so if you're thinking about shipping items in, maybe do 50 units or something around that number just for a good test. If something goes wrong, you're not gonna be too stressed. If, especially since it's your first shipment, but you're gonna fill all of this information out and then after it's fully filled out, you're going to print a box label and Amazon's gonna have their own Amazon label and then you're simply going to go to ups.com and you're going to use them to ship the final label. Amazon's label is for them. It has where the warehouse is that needs to be shipped to. So you're gonna copy that address and you're gonna put it on the UPS website when you create that label. So Amazon is gonna give you the address, tape that on the box with the 50 units. UPS is gonna give you their label, tape that on the box. Then you go to UPS and you drop it off. UPS may ask you for your VAT number and they may ask for a couple other documents that I'm gonna go over in a second. Just have those ready as needed. But UPS has been one of the best and they usually get things across border pretty easily. So some things they may ask for, well UPS might ask for, is they might ask for a commercial invoice. They have a, UPS has a template, you can just fill it out. They may ask for a packing list. Again, they have a template. Certificate of origin, you can get that from your manufacturer. Uh, bill of lading, UPS is gonna provide this. Delivery order, permits and stuff like that. But again, 99% of the time, you only everything that you need UPS will provide and has templates for. So don't be afraid to ask. They have their own freight forwarding team and they know exactly what they're doing. Once you drop off that package, make sure all of the tracking is with at, within Amazon as well cuz it's you have to put it in Amazon and put that tracking in there. Amazon then will receive it, they'll check it in and then you're going to be live on Amazon FBA. It may be expensive at first, especially using UPS, but you wanna get it done right the first time. After that, you can start looking for a freight forwarder that specializes in Amazon and shipping from Amazon directly to the UAE. And that way you can get better costs and better pricing. 
but UPS is going to be one of the most reliable platforms in my professional opinion. And that's it. I hope that you learned something new in today's video for expanding to the UAE. And not only that, shipping your items into the UAE so you can su succeed in international expansion. If you like this video, please do drop a like. And if you want to learn more and you're an Amazon seller, I highly recommend dropping a subscribe. If you need help selling on Amazon or expanding international, international shipments, any issues, feel free to contact EHP. We've got a 50 person team that's been growing every single day. We know exactly what to do and we can help you succeed. Talk to you soon.